and welcome back to the Morning Blend. You'll be glad you're still with us because right now we have the perfect way for you to get your salty sweet fix. It's an easy to make snack that would be the star of any picnic, barbecue, party, or lunch box. Yum! Chef, uh, Chef Kate Luloff is here from Jones Dairy Farm with a recipe for sweet or savory bacon bow ties. I can already tell. I'm going to love these. They're bite-sized appetizers for on the go. Anybody's going to love them. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. So I real quick, bacon here. from the bacon expert, <laughs> oh what is the best way to cook bacon in your opinion? In the oven. For yeah. Sure. Foil line sheet and then either parchment or something like this over the top. Totally easy cleanup. It cooks evenly and you don't have to worry about the splatter on the stove. Yeah. Can you just cook it on the on the tin foil or you should put something else? You can. It, it helps um, just to pull a little bit of the fat off if you use the parchment too. Oh, okay. All okay. right. I like that. Good to know. So these bites, um, I thought maybe it was bow tie pasta, but it's the, the bacon is actually tied to look a like tie. a little bow tie, which yeah. is fun. Is there something inside of the, the bacon? There isn't. It's just straight up bacon, and then we're going to um, season them either sweet or savory. So we have brown sugar and maple syrup for the sweet. Yum. With a little cracked pepper on top. And then the savory is going to be garlic and parmesan with a little parsley and a little cayenne for some heat. Oh my gosh, I oh, want both. Wow. <laughs> okay, teach us I what we're this. doing here. Okay, totally easy. You guys know I always bring easy stuff. So, yes. of course, we have the star of our ing of our recipe, which is the Jones Dairy Farm bacon. This bacon is unique because it's dry aged, mm -hmm. which just like a steak, when you dry age a steak, all that flavor soaks in. So um, our bacon is made from a hundred year old cure. It's either smoked over hickory chips or cherry wood chips from Door County. So, so there's local. no liquid smoke. No liquid smoke ever used. 100% um, gluten free. I feel like you can taste that difference, by the way. You absolutely mm -hmm. can. You, you almost have that when you have a bacon that's got that liquid smoke, you almost have that artificial taste yes. that stays with you after. Yes. You don't get that at all from this. You just get that pure hickory flavor or cherry wood flavor. So, um, but just a very, very quality bacon. You'll see it when you pick up the packages at the store, you'll find them in the refrigerated section. Mm -hmm. um, cherry wood, hickory wood, and now we also have an, a new no sugar bacon that is, um, if you're doing paleo, that's perfect because it's got no sugar. Okay. So that one you'll find too at the store. The sausages we've talked about before, would, you would find in the freezer section, mm -hmm. but the bacon and the ham and the liver sausage, those would all be in the refrigerated. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. So. We'll do see how it's done. All right. So I just took our packages of bacon, cut them in half. So you're just going to use half slices. The thinner bacon works better for this. So not necessarily the thick cut, just because you're going to have so much bulk to try and wrap and it's not going to cook all the way through in the middle. Okay. And that's really, I mean, all you you're doing. Just tied just it in. Just literally tied, tied, it, in tied it in a knot and that's it. And you have that little bow tie shape. Now are you leaving a little space in the bow or are you tying them tight? I don't tie them super tight, but they're going to cook. I mean, they're going to be in there for about a half an hour total. So okay. depending on how, how crispy you like your bacon. Okay. But yeah, just leave a little bit in the middle. Okay. Totally this would be simple. Fun for the kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. For sure. Yep. So we'll just Tie do some three meat, here. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want, and you can see that they, they cook down just a little bit, so they're Mama's perfectly busy. go tie right the meat. Here. Perfectly bite sized. If you wanted to try them with a full slice, I'm sure that would work too. Okay. Um, and then I have a little bit of br the brown sugar and maple that I had mixed pre mixed up. Okay. Oh. For the sweets, you're just gonna brush that on the top. Oh. It's gonna almost be like candied bacon. Huh. Yeah. So if you've ever had candied bacon and you can see on the yeah, edges there where it got dark. Meat candy. Uh -huh. Exactly. It is. So we'll do some of these with the sweet and then the rest we'll do with savory. Okay. And so when that's, we and, and that's to help make things stick, obviously. Yep, and it's gonna caramelize, it's gonna give it that nice crunchy sweet flavor. The other ones um, would be Parmesan cheese. Just dried, sprinkled on. Yep, and actually I'm showing you how to do this now, but you would put the Parmesan on about halfway through, so about 15 minutes in. Oh, uh, okay. You would put the Parmesan on, so just the garlic salt to begin with. Mm-hmm. Okay. Parsley also would go halfway through with the Parmesan. And those won't burn up? No. Or they will? No. Nope. A little bit? No. The parsley? Yeah. No. Okay. Nope. And then our uh, cayenne, if you want just a little bit Ooh, of heat on those. Give it those. a little kick. Yeah. There, I'm going to tip these up so we can see them a little bit. And then crack, crack pepper on the, on the sweet. Just oh, to give it a little yeah. offset on the sweet. Nice. Yummy. That's cool. Okay. All right. And then and we're going to bake them about a half hour. About a half side. an hour. Yep. So we're going to throw these in. High heat, like a 425. Like a 350. Okay. 
<laughs> I try and cook everything way faster by turning the heat up, and it's Whoa. not a good All right. process. And they're going to come out. Oh this is gosh. totally normal, so that's what you're looking for because okay. that's that brown sugar and can maple. We tip that's that what up happens. A yep. Yeah, so people can see it. So that's normal. Once that's we... how it looks. Okay, so they're supposed okay. to look like that. Yep. You didn't ruin them. Nope, 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 nope. They're going to, and that, that's going to stay on the pan, so no big deal. Okay. So these are what your little bites are going to look like. Yeah. I'll have you guys try those oh. because those are, will not burn your mouth. I want to try one of each. These yeah. look so good. Yeah, you got to tell me which one is your favorite. Oh my god, these are so good. Mm. This was the sweet. Mm. That is the little crunchy sweet bite of goodness. And it goodness. is like kind of like a little caramelization on it. Mm -hmm. That's so yummy. You get the little little Wait, bit. How of long did you cook these for? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yep. Mm. Oh my god. All right, next. <laughs> oh my gosh. That you gotta tell yummy. me which one is your favorite. Which, which kind one of bacon did you use for these? The uh, savory. We used the hickory, and the sweet. We did the. Oh, the I like the sweet one. better. I mean, mm -hmm. I like them both, but mm -hmm. the sweet better. I it think just depends what you're what you're what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. So you can find these thing? retailers all over the Milwaukee area. Um, there's a there's product, a product, locator, product right? locator on the website. You can go in and put your zip code in. It'll tell mm. you which stores you can you find tell us it where, at. Kate. What's mm -hmm. the website, Kate? JonesDairyFarm.com. <laughs> the recipes on there, product locator, and there's tons of other recipes too. You are not going to be able to share these. Make a lot. <laughs> they're oh, very good. I'm, I'm going to make these this weekend. You should. They're so easy. So good. Thank you, Kate. You're welcome. They are so good. This is insane. <laughs> Seriously, got to do it tonight. Really, really good. All right.